Hello and welcome to um, another episode of Glam Care Academy. I am Nurse Amy and uh, this is a channel where we talk about businesses, multiple streams of income, aesthetics, nurse entrepreneurship and um, so on and so forth. You know, we talk about um, empowering people to start their own businesses and be confident while doing it. The tips, the roadmap to get in there. I share with you the different, um, you know, challenges I'm going through, which, oh my God. So you all know, um, I have been doing aesthetics on the side. You all know this already. And I've been trying to get a shop, a place where I can actually um, set up shop and have people come in. It's like pulling teeth. You have to deal with um, the county, you have to deal with the uh, the city, you have to also deal with the um, the um, agreement or tenants agreement in the if, if you're looking at a um, say a salon you know suites or you're looking at even even looking at um, shop you know you have to, those are things you have to deal with so you need to know okay depends on the services you're giving up you need to check with your zoning office i needed to come out and tell you guys this this is important i'm having to deal with it sometimes the county says yes and the city is like no no i'm sorry thank you one thing which is quite interesting to me which i found out again you know i'm always going to share things with you so I offer microblading, right? So um, this is so interesting. The city that I live in. So the county was like, it's fine. It's okay. They sent me a whole long list of things that I needed to do. That too is a whole, I mean, they want everything, you know, your, it's, I mean, they might as well be asking for your dental records, your mother's maiden name, you know, your blood type. I mean, seriously, I'm not even exaggerating. To send the forming it is, is an, an X amount of money. And then you also have to, once you get the license, you go through some training. Now, mind you, I'm a registered nurse, whatever. <laughs> right, essentially, they don't care, okay? So um, you go through some training, you get um, certification for, and basically, things that as a nurse of course I know but there's, there's other requirements you know uh, blood-borne partagings and cross infection and all that good stuff so you get all that then you apply for the license which is even more expensive than the money you paid to fill in the form okay so after doing all that now I met this very lovely 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 person who told me before you even go into all of this before you start paying because it's non-refundable again i'm coming out here to share with you guys you need to be careful even if you're getting with the county be sure you check with the the city and then depends on where that place is the city might say okay it's fine so you go the county you go the city but also around that area you know, they also might have their own things, their requirement, which essentially happened to me. So, um, so the lady at the county told me, don't be in a hurry, just wait, try and um, <laughs> get, um, get the, the, the city, go to the zoning office. So I went to the zoning office, lo and behold, they found a tattoo shop that is too close to where I'm trying to set shop. God forbid that we should be close to each other. It's not allowed. And I'm like, well, I don't even use tattoos. They use ink and I use pigments, right? Yeah, whatever. The thing is, we are all grouped under the same permanent makeup, uh, somebody incision, something, something. I don't know. He read something to me. And what he did was actually measure the distance from the tattoo shop to where I'm going to be having my shop. So there are two shops. So one of them barely made it. The other one was too close. And then the one that barely made it, guess what? You can have carpeting on the floor. So I had to, so that's the zoning office saying, okay, this part is good. You can have your shop here. So I went to the, the, to the county. I'm like, so I looked at the list. I'm like, ah, it does say something. And it makes sense, you know, that, 
um, no carpeting on the floor. So it has to be hardwood floors, which she said they will be fine with. It has to be tiles. And um, even if you have a sink, it's not enough to just have, um, it has to have nubs. I mean, they have their own specifications. And I'm like, wow. Okay. Again, I'm so grateful to her because um, she has been immensely wonderful. I don't know if she wants me to use her name. I'll ask her because, you know, I'm, I'm a grateful person. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a shout out in a minute, but I'll ask her if that's okay so I can use it in my next video. But she actually told me, you know, what? I'll come out and see your space before you start committing to this. They do, however, make you jump through hoops. It's a lot. Okay, so eventually I got this place and then this is the third part. County check, um, zonal office check, but the, the, the building says no because there's competition or similar services. Seriously? So it's okay to have gas stations close to each other. It's okay to have pharmacy drug stores close to each other it's okay that stylists you know hairstylists and what have you are like stacked on each other but certain services you have i mean seriously what's going on so anyway i wanted to come out here and vent which i am doing but how you are doing today though again you have to keep moving you just have to keep moving eventually you're going to find something that is tailor-made for you so my shop is out there and uh, it's tailor made for me and i'm going to be happy and i'm going to be smashing it there i'm going to be slaying my skills there but until then i'm still doing my home delivery services uh, for those services that i can and it is going well if you look behind me you can actually see my uh, teeth whitening uh, machine there Mwah. i love my teeth whitening business and then um, okay, I think my chair is blocking and I've got my massage bed there. So I've got a space kind of set up here, um, which, okay, I'm doing what I need to do. <laughs> anyway, um, but I just wanted to come out here and let you guys know, you know, I'm in the trenches with those that are also trying to get a store or uh, for those who are um, in the process with me, fine, okay, because I did try a challenge out. If your guys are not reaching out to me, let me know how you're going at your end. But for those that are thinking of going into this, these are things that you need to be aware of. And please feel free to contact me because I will tell you, I don't know anyone in my county, but um, yeah. Some counties are easier than others, some are not, okay. So it just happens that eh, mine's got a long laundry list. So until I come your way again, be safe and um, hey, keep moving, right? I'll see you in the next video.